I'm Jason UFC, and today we have a story about UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Pahowska is vacating his light heavyweight championship after a, what sounds like a serious shoulder injury. UFC 282 pay-per-view will now be headlined by an undisputed championship fight. I believe this is going to be undisputed between Magomed Ankalaev versus Jan Blakovic, not Glover Teixeira for the title fight, not Glover Teixeira. Wow. Yuri Pahowska isn't the UFC light heavyweight champion anymore. Wow. And the man he expected to challenge for the title will no longer fight for that title either. It's it's unbelievable. The UFC 282 um, pay-per-view main event between uh, Pahowska and Glover Teixeira has been canceled. The fight has been canceled. Pahowska suffered a serious shoulder injury and has vacated. Not in turn. He's not he's not keeping a belt. He's gonna vacate the belt. Wow. That is I don't that's surprising. With Pahowska out the promotion has elevated uh Ankalaev versus Bakovic to the UFC two eighty two main event. It was originally scheduled for the co main event. You know the UFC likes to have um when they have a championship fight, they like to have maybe a number one contender. Not always a number one contender, but at least two like top five contenders, maybe a um a standby opponent, but they like to have light heavyweights on um light heavyweight championship cards, but they have to be really close to highly ranked. But this is a very strange situation here because of what happened with Glover Teixeira. UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Pahowska has suffered a soldier injury that will require a significant rehabilitation period. Out of respect to the athletes and the division, Pahowska has elected to vacate his title and will compete for the belt as soon as he is medically cleared. Okay, so that's kind of one question answered. We don't know how long Pahowska is going to be out, but it sounds like he's going to be out for at least a year. I, I would, I mean, it sounds like he's out for at least a year. Um, Dana White later shed light on the severity of Pahowska injured right shoulder. Quote, this is the worst shoulder injury the doctors have ever seen in UFC history okay it's really bad his shoulder is very very bad he's going to have serious shoulder surgery that will require extensive rehab this sounds i mean obviously at least a year before pahowska is back in the titleship contendership or even conversation this is very unfortunate for him um um yahoo sports initially reported that tashera um who was um, scheduled to fight Pahowski um, um, for the undisputed championship fight, turned down a title fight. A person with knowledge of the situation later told MMA Junkie that the UFC offered to share a fight versus Ankalaev, right, for the title. Um, Ankalaev was scheduled versus Blakovic and Teixeira versus was scheduled for a title fight versus Pahowska, but... UFC offered Teixeira a fight versus Ankalaev for the title at UFC 282, but allegedly, okay, I can't say guarantee, but allegedly um, Teixeira declined because he felt he needed more time for to prepare for a new opponent. Teixeira then requested, allegedly then requested to fight Ankalaev in January in Brazil at UFC 282. Three. That's a little bit surprising. UFC 283 already has a championship fight on it. UFC 282 would have lost their championship fight, and this is a pay per view. So I don't, that's a little bit surprising that he would offer that. Um, but the UFC obviously said no to Shara. Also asked to fight Blakovic, who he defeated in for the bout in 2021, instead of Ankalaev at UFC 282. But the UFC also said no to that request. So, okay, so according to. This um, statement, it was going to be the, the original fight was obviously the championship fight with Teixeira versus um, Pahowska. Pahowska got injured. The co-main event was originally scheduled to be Ankalaev versus Blakovic, basically a number one contendership fight. So when Pahowska got injured, according to this report, UFC offered Ankalaev, um 
they offered Glover Teixeira and Goliath, and Goliath said, I mean, I mean, Glover Teixeira said no because he needed more time for Goliath, and he wanted to fight Goliath in Brazil, and the UFC said no to that. So then the next request was Teixeira saying, okay, I still want to fight on UFC 282, and I would like to fight an opponent I already fought. He already defeated Jan Blakovich for the UFC championship, and then he lost it to Pahal, Pahal Glover Teixeira did. So he offered to fight um, Jan Blakovich at UFC 282 on the original card instead of Angoliath, who the UFC offered, and the UFC said no. Wow. UFC 282 takes place December 10th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is there's a lot going on here. Um, it does not sound like, um, like I said, this is not for an interim bout. This will be for the Undisputed Championship uh, title of the world. We've had some champions in the UFC um, get injured and take a little bit of an extended period off after they win the belt or while they're still champion and then the UFC would do something like an interim title for the champion to come back but it does seem like you know as as bad as this injury was it seemed like the UFC definitely I wouldn't say pressured um Pahowska to get rid of the belt but it does not seem like the UFC was willing to do any interim title for this situation i think they were just going to say like listen it sucks that you're injured but we kind of have a number one contendership fight on the same card you know this injury sounds pretty bad there's no reason you know for you to hold on to the bout if you're you know if you're injured like that i i think it was definitely more it says it, it's a mutual decision but it seems like it seems pretty obvious that the ufc was like well if they were telling to share a no for everything i'm pretty sure they would you know they were going to Pahowska saying, like, listen, just deal with your injury. Don't worry, you know. Obviously, when you're injured, you can't, you're not going to be defending your belt. So what we're going to do is, you know, when as soon as you get back, obviously you will automatically be the number one contender for whoever the champion at that point. But at for this point, right now, the UFC definitely needed a championship fight to end their um, year. This is a pay-per-view, UFC 280 to um this would be the pay-per-view um um to end the year so i don't think they wanted to just have a kind of a number one contendership fight between ankoliath and um block of it to end the year so it seemed like obviously not i wouldn't say they stripped him i don't i'm not gonna say that they stripped him of the title it just seems like for both for both parties you know with pahowska and you know suffering what some people consider a serious shoulder injury you know um that he would not be able to defend his belt any at least within the next calendar year i wouldn't expect to see pahowska back into 2024 so they moved it on and now they're gonna have the championship fight at ufc 282 to be headlined by magomed and goliath who i believe is like 18 and 1 versus jan blakovic as i've said um Blakovich lost the title to Glover Teixeira. Teixeira lost the title to Jan uh, uh, Pahakovic. Pahakovic, to who? Yeah. Um, Pahowska. Pahowski. Um, so Pahowska was the current undisputed champion. He, he tapped out Glover Teixeira in the fifth round. Pahowska did. Yuri Pahowska did. And now he has to, he didn't really get to defend his bout. Um, so we'll see how long that shoulder injury will keep um, Pahowski, Pahowska out for um, the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship um, contendership. So, And then we'll see who will win the um, championship. This will be for the Undisputed Championship. This is not an interim title. It's not a placeholder title. This is not what some people like to call a toy belt. This is for the Undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Um, hopefully, Yuri Bahowska gets um, healthy soon. He did take a pretty bad beating in that fight versus Teixeira. But, you know, now he suffered some type of serious shoulder injury, I guess, in camp. This fight is scheduled to happen like three weekends from today. So he definitely was not going to be able to fight. Um, and we just saw a... Um, TJ Dillashaw go into a fight with a really, really bad shoulder injury. He should not have even been in that fight. And he 
got molly whopped by Aljamain Sterling. So there's a huge difference. I don't know what's going on with TJ Dillashaw, but he had a like dislocated shoulder, and he went into the fight. He couldn't really defend himself at all. His shoulder kept popping out. It was really incredible. And some people accused TJ Dillashaw of selling wolf tickets, even getting into that uh, belt. He should have vacated. He should have just said, like, my shoulder is too messed up, so I can't even be in this fight. Let someone else take this spot and let me get healthy and then come back and fight for the uh, belt when, when I'm, you know, fully prepared. But for some reason, you know, with a popped out shoulder, TJ Dillashaw des- decided to basically waste a, t- a championship opportunity. And that's what it is, because if you lose that fight the way you lose to Al Jermaine Sterling, you're not going to get a rematch anytime soon. So, Pahowski, Pahowska, um, hopefully gets well. You know, the UFC, Dana White said that this is one of the worst shoulder injuries, right? Uh, the UFC has ever said, they said this is the, this is, not one, this is the worst shoulder injury the doctors have ever seen in UFC history. That is, that's 2024 talk. But let me know what you think of the UFC light heavyweight um, title ship um fight between Ankalaev and Blakovic. Are you more excited for this fight? Um, Pahowska and Teixeira had a pretty good fight. But, you know, like I said, um, Teixeira defeated uh, Blakovic before, so he could end, Blakovic could end up being the champion and fighting probably Teixeira next, right? You would imagine that Teixeira at some point, even though um, Yuri is going to be injured for some time in, until next year. You would imagine that with this fight happening here, the winner will most likely end up fighting um, Glover Teixeira next, right? So we'll see what happens there. But sad news for Yuri Pahowska. He's going to have to end up vacating his UFC championship, light heavyweight championship belt before even defending it. I'm Jason, UFC. Today we had a story about um, former, now former UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Pahowska has to vacate his um, championship after a serious shoulder injury. UFC 282 will now be headlined by what was the co-main event. Now is the co Now is the main event. Magomed Ankalaev versus Jan Blakovic for the undisputed light heavyweight for the UFC Undisputed Light Heavyweight Championship. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button, and please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.